Okay, let's make a quick video here. My camera is pretty low on uh, on juice, so I just wanted to show. I believe your name's Dennis. I wanted to show you what I was saying. So this is the same green wire. This is some nine volt batteries uh, that are just about dead, and they're about 76 volts I think together. But I have the wire, so if I short them out, you see there's no. No spark because there's no current. The current is just about gone. But if I take those batteries and I hook it up to this little capacitor, which is a, let's see if I can see it here, 10, 10 joule, 250 volt. It's, it doesn't have any capacity. You wouldn't be able to pulse a motor with it because it doesn't have any capacity. You'd have to have a bigger uh, capacitor. You'd have to have a a capacitor, well this is what I use here, it's a 450,000 uh, UF at 10 volts. But just to show you what I was talking about, I'll hook up this end here, and then the other end to the positive. So now I have those wires hooked up to the capacitor, and I'll take this white wire. Okay. Now see if you see a spark. As soon as I get in here. Okay, here we go. And I believe it's it's pretty much the same principle principle as uh, points, plugs, and condenser on your uh, lawnmower. Uh, this as long as high voltage is present and you have a capacitor, you can get instantaneous current. I uh, just like to use to fire your spark plug so they can sell you gas. Um, so I just wanted to show you. Like I guess I gotta keep this kind of short because I wasn't smart enough to charge my camera. But just as long as uh, you have voltage, and just as long as these batteries ain't junk, they will always have voltage. These batteries here, these five here, I've had probably for a couple years. And uh, I, ch I charge them up on my uh, magneto uh, over here with the Bedini circuit. But, uh, you know, and it, it charges them up. But these right here, I haven't charged these yet. These right here have charged a little bit, but not very much. Uh, I'm still working on that. Because it's kind of tricky charging 9 volt batteries when they're hooked in series like this. Because there's not a lot of capacity and if I, my charger hits, uh, charges too much, which is easy to do, uh, it'll light the light, which is there to protect the transistor. So i got to figure out a way to lower the current so I can charge up these batteries. But this is, uh, this is what I was talking about. And there's six little batteries inside of each one of these 9 volt batteries. They're volt and a half times six, that's 9 volts. And they're hooked in series, which brings the voltage up, but the current stays exactly the same as the current in one of them little batteries. And when you hook all these batteries together, the voltage comes up, but the current on all them batteries is still just the current of that one little battery. So this is actually a perfect little system to get high voltage for free, basically. Uh, and it'll charge. It'll charge my big capacitor. If I uh, these here right here are new new batteries, they'll charge the capacitor up really fast. Um, it doesn't take much current um, to charge a capacitor. As long as you got a substantial uh, amount of voltage, it'll it'll come up pretty quick. Now on your uh, QEG, your mini QEG, you might have to hook up a bridge rectifier to turn it into DC so that you can charge a capacitor uh, because these these are DC capacitors I don't know anything about AC I haven't experimented with those but I know a DC capacitor you'll have to make a bridge rectifier um, and if you want to if yeah I mean it's on online but uh, if you have any questions or or need to know how to make a bridge uh, just you know leave a comment and uh, I'll make another video well God bless you have a great day bye bye